Now that you've got your first sounds on clarinet, it's time to start extending your range. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna play that note G, nice and long, and then add your thumb for F, eventually index for E, index in middle with still thumb for D, and thumb one, two, three for C. That'll give you these five notes. With those five notes, you can play a whole bunch of songs, like Mary Had a Little Lamb and Hot Cross Buns and all sorts of other ones. But next, you're gonna to wanna to extend even further, and that will have you adding in the fingers of the other hand. Now, if as you started going down, you found that you started having accidents like this happen, and it didn't sound right, make sure you're not accidentally touching any extra keys. Unfortunately, without perfect hand position, that's gonna happen once in a while. So just make sure that your fingers are nice and arced while you play. After you can get from G to F to E to D to C, add another finger and another and another to get to the lower register, like this. As you're going down from G to F to E to D to C to B flat to A and G, you start to find that it doesn't really go or sound the way it should, like this. It could be because you're not fully covering the holes. So make sure that you are fully covering each of the holes. Any small leak will cause the sound to suffer. We haven't used our pinkies yet, that's okay. Those are for specialized notes that we'll worry about later. But if you can get all the way down to here, something new can happen. You can play over the break. The break is where the clarinet goes from one range of notes up to the next one. And the break involves using your thumb to play two keys at the same time. When your thumb is in the right position, all you have to do is roll it slightly to activate this long key. That long key is called the register key, and it takes you over the break. The best way to start going over the break is to start with one of your lower notes. If you can play all the way down to low A, which is thumb, one, two, three, one, two, or G, which is thumb, one, two, three, one, two, three, what I want you to do is get a good sound on that note like this. And as you're playing that note, slightly roll your thumb to activate that register key. Did you hear how it went to a higher note? That's not a squeak. That is the high note D. And once you can play that note, you could start to explore the highest notes on the clarinet. This may be a little advanced in the beginning, but as the music starts to get more challenging, writers of those pieces will start to use notes that are higher than the A or B flat that you may have already learned when you're using the lower register or the chalmeau register. That chalmeau register is the low notes without using that register key. And then we go up into what's called the clarion register, when we start to use that register key. The clarion register is not something that you're gonna use in the beginning, but it's something to work toward so that when the time comes to play notes like high C and D, you have the skills to do it. If you can't get as low as an A or a G, make sure that you do that before trying to play in that upper register with the register key. Otherwise, you're just gonna get very frustrated that you can't get the sound you want. Once you can play up in the clarion register, have some fun and noodle around.